Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the love we're getting here on Cart Conversations, but this gear, this isn't exclusive to me. Go to the riderstore.ca or pop into one of the Regina and Saskatchewan lo or Saskatoon locations. Pick you up some of this, because this stuff is hot, right? Liberty Flames, all-time leader in all-purpose yardage, Frankie Hickson. Nice. Thanks for coming to Cart Convos, man. It's good to be here. I, I like the breeze. It's, it's a nice drive right now. Well, speaking of being here, You've been in Regina since yeah. February. Yes. So I got to ask you, I'm a foodie. What yes. type of, what are the restaurants that you really liked when you were in Regina oh. in February? So my thing is when I'm in the off season, I'm going to enjoy what I eat. So okay. I'm not going to watch my calories Oh, you're too not much. carb counting? Oh, no, okay. no, no. So I, I like uh, A&W for sure whenever I need something Ooh. quick. Uh, I, I got to get the, the double matzo burger. Uh, with some onion rings and some apple pies too. The apple? Yes, the sir. The onion rings at a and you go hard. I'm telling you, and the Chipotle mayo. Woo, oh, that's how heat, you get down. Heat. And then um, if I'm gonna go breakfast, I think Perkins is probably the best deal that you can get. I mean, I'm getting two uh, pieces of French toast, two pancakes, three eggs, hash browns, uh, oh, three man. pieces of bacon, and oh. three sausage links for 20 hey. bucks. You can't beat that. You speaking like the foodie love language right oh, now. Oh, yes. Breakfast yeah. food is my, that's me. That's all me. Hey, look, Regina knows how to do breakfast. Saskatchewan indeed. knows how to do breakfast. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, okay, here's the other question. Now, the temperature, you're from Virginia, right? Right, right, right. So the temperature where you're from in Virginia, out there with the Liberty University too, mm -hmm. it doesn't get much higher or lower than like minus five. No, no, no. You it's... were here in February when it was like minus 50. So I want, so give, Give the people back home in Virginia how to some tips on how to survive listen, the Regina, the Saskatchewan weather. Listen, how you survive Saskatchewan weather is you come during the summer. Don't <laughs> come during the winter. Just, but uh, if do you it. do, if you do come in the winter, bring a couple of layers, uh, at least three sweatpants a night, uh, maybe a long sleeve shirt, a thermal, and a, a sweatshirt, and then a coat too. You got and, layers. Uh, layers. You got on a layers. layer. You got to layer up. A couple scars. Don't forget your toque. That's a beanie down for the people in uh, <laughs> down south. But uh, bring your toque, bring your gloves, your mittens, whatever you got to do. Well, so the other thing is, you prepared for the winter. So did you do like the fun stuff? Did you go like, uh, did you go sledding? Did you go skiing? Ice uh, fishing? They're gonna here. Listen, I'll tell you what. Saskatchewan people are amazing. Yes. But they find out you're here in the winter, they're gonna try to force you to go ice fishing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. They, they, you have to like avoid ice fishing. But so, did you do any of that? So in my travels around the province for the appearances that I was doing since I've been here in February, I got the chance to drive a, uh, around some lakes and stuff where I saw a lot of ice fishing and stuff, but I never got a chance to do it. Um, frankly, I was a little bit scared and yeah, didn't really- because you're driving a vehicle on ice and everybody's cool with it right this is like oh yeah they, they don't see any problem with it i don't they, get it they pitch like how they put houses on the ice right right and that's how it look and that's how the uh, canadians try to explain it to you like you know we put houses on that is that's not that's not gonna make me feel any better about the situation well and you know what the thing is too they say oh well you know it's nice to have an adult beverage out there and i'm like you can have an adult beverage in your house. Right. I can have an adult beverage on a couch. I can get I, one from Perkins with bacon and eggs. Indeed. Indeed. I can go get some mimosas and be fine. I don't need to do ice fishing to, to have a good time. So are you gonna are you gonna are you thinking about making Regina like the extended stay home in the off season? Like do, uh, was the experience good for you? I, the experience was great. I, I love Regina, I love Saskatchewan. Uh, it's definitely become a second home. Right. Um, as far as uh, a, a, a place where I would put permanent roots down. You I gotta would, get used to the cold. I gotta get, yeah. I, I need a couple more years. Yeah, I need a just, couple more years right. to, well, to, to put things together. But um, yeah, I'll tell you what, you keep you keep balling like you're doing, you're gonna get more than a couple years. Hey, I it, was, it was a journey it. to get here though, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was, it was indeed. Talk uh, about, man, I, I, I there, and there's a story on, on uh, Liberty University's uh, Facebook page about just sort of, you know, how COVID took away your pro days and yeah. you know, how, how your faith really kept you in it and kept yeah. you focused. But Absolutely. talk about like, was it family? What was the, other than God, what was it? Oh, uh, big dog. What's up? It's always God. It's always right. God and then how God uses people in your life. 
Um, that doesn't mean that you have to be perfect. That doesn't mean that everything has to be going your way all the time, but that means that in the end, it'll work out for your good. And so um, just keeping that mentality of be ready, stay ready. God will give you that opportunity. Stay ready, stay ready, stay ready. If you, as long as you focus on the things that you can control, God will put things and set things in your alignment and uh, he'll put things in your path and, and you can all you have to do is walk through it. It's just like football. It really, yeah. Your offensive line, like they open up the hole and you just run right through it. Hey man, we're excited to see you rolling this year, man. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Episode three, Cart Combos, Frankie Hickson.